take some batteries and some meters and some bulbs and some wires, put them all together, what do you get? Let's learn physics. What happens to the battery voltage if you have that battery start doing something? Connect two 6 volt batteries like this, what voltage do you get? Add more bulbs in series. What happens to the current and the brightness? Add more bulbs in parallel. What happens to current and brightness? What happens when you combine series and parallel? All the answers to these questions and more will be demonstrated here. But for your education's sake, please stop the video when you're asked a question if you need to. Predict what you think is going to happen. Do those things if you really want to learn. Voltage of the battery is about 5.7 volts. What happens to that battery voltage when you connect the bulb? Here's where you stop and predict. Does it go up? Does it go down? Does it stay the same? Voltage drops. Look at that. That's because of internal resistance of the battery. Energy use inside the battery. New situation. Let's take two batteries and connect them like this. The positive connects to the positive. The negative connects to the negative. What's the voltage? Here's a circuit diagram to help you out. Positive and positive connected, negative and negative connected. So is the voltage zero volts, six volts, or 12 volts? Because those are six volt batteries. Huh, that's six volts. That means that these batteries, when connected together, do not give more voltage, but last longer. Now, without the meter, here's another look at those batteries in parallel. Check out the bulb brightness. Now let's do a series connection. Positive to negative, wrap it around in a circle. What's this voltage going to be? Zero, six, or 12? Here's a diagram to help you out. That's batteries in series. So you add batteries together in series, what happens? More voltage, same voltage, less voltage. Here we go. Look at that. Top number says 12 volts. So when you are adding batteries in series, you add the voltage. So now with 12 volts, is that bulb going to be brighter, the same brightness, or less bright? Well, that definitely is significantly brighter. So more voltage means more energy per coulomb and more current flowing through this thing, and so it is a lot brighter. And because there's more current flowing, there is more voltage drop inside that battery. This is Ohm's law, and it gives the relationship among resistance voltage and current. Basically, if you have a constant voltage, if the resistance goes up, the current will go down, and vice versa, if the resistance goes down, the current flowing in the circuit will go up. This simple circuit has a current of about 0.4 amperes. If I now add a second bulb in series, what happens to that current? Go up, go down, or stay the same? The original value, if you remember, on that circuit was 0.4 amperes. Second bulb in series drops it to about three tenths of an ampere a loss of one tenth that's a series circuit and since the current went down we know that the resistance of the circuit went up therefore when you add more resistors in series you add the resistances up and so the equation could look something like this for different resistors in series watch what happens when you bypass using a little jumper wire. Same thing continues to happen as you add more resistors. The current goes down because the overall resistance of the circuit goes up. So it went from 0.4 amps to about 0.3 amps to about 0.2 amps. Now let's measure the voltage. Bottom set of numbers. We know that the battery gives six volts and the voltage of that first bulb is, don't wait for it, predict the value. So the energy difference per coulomb between two points, the voltage, is just under 2 volts for one of them and under 2 volts for the next one and under 2 volts for the next one. So all those added up gives you 
around 5 volts, which when this battery is running, let's see what that voltage is. Uh-oh, backwards. Just about 5 volts. So for series, the source voltage, the total voltage, is equal to the sum of the voltage users. And the current in that series circuit is a constant value. This circuit, on the other hand, will be a parallel circuit because the current will have different paths through which to flow. Here's the diagram of a parallel circuit to help you out. Now let's predict what's going to happen to the current in the circuit, the resistance in the circuit, as you add that second bulb in parallel. You probably quit predicting by now, but look at that. Huh, the current goes up significantly. That means that the resistance of the whole circuit goes down as you add more resistors, more lamps in parallel. And notice that those bulbs remain pretty bright. Does this pattern continue? As you add more and more resistors in parallel, does the resistance go down and the current for the circuit continue to go up? Yes, resistance of the circuit goes down because that circuit is supplying several bulbs in parallel and the overall current from the source does increase. So that's an important relationship in your house because your house is wired in parallel. As you add more resistors, turn on more things in the same parallel circuit, the current goes up and sometimes has to be cut off. And now what's the voltage relationship? How will all these voltages measure compared to each other? Turns out there was a bad wire. And since I know what the answers are supposed to be, I changed things around a little bit. And... Get about four volts for every one of these. Decreasing slightly as you go farther away from the battery. But that's what you'd expect because, just like in your house, anywhere you plug in, you get 120 volts. Parallel, constant voltage. Here's another circuit. You have two bulbs in series, and I'm going to add another bulb in parallel to one of those bulbs. What happens to the brightness? What happens to the current? There's the circuit. Predict what's going to happen. Didn't expect that, did you? Well, all the current is flowing through the one bulb at the top left of your screen, and then the current splits, and about the same current flows through each of those two bulbs, but the current is less than in the single bulb where all the current flows through. Overall resistance of the circuit went down. Overall current went up. But all the current's flowing through the top left bulb and only half of it's flowing through the other two. That's what you see. Here's another situation. Start with the same series bulbs and then add another bulb in parallel with both of them. Here's what the circuit looks like. Take a minute, stop, think about it. What's going to happen to the brightness of those bulbs? Where will most of the current go? And will more current be drawn from the battery? There it is. Current tends to choose the path of less resistance, and so more current will flow through the single bulb branch because there is less resistance and it will brighten up because more current goes through there. More current does flow through the circuit overall also. And finally, here's a comparison of the two. Think about where the current is flowing. Think about the easier path. Remember that the brighter bulbs have more current flowing through them.